Yo, what up? This is gonna be my first unboxing video. Um, I'm getting out of my comfort zone because I've always said I would never make these kind of videos, but it seemed to be kind of popular, seemed to be entertaining. I actually have been watching a few and they're pretty fucking entertaining, so let's make one. This is my first, I think it's my first time ever ordering from ArtPrimo.com. I just ordered, it's no, obviously there's no spray paint, it's just markers, inks, and honestly, it's all right there. I don't remember exactly what I ordered, but yeah, I'll let you guys know my first impressions on it. Um, the turnaround time, how long they take to ship, all that. So, let's see, I had bought Sakura Solid Markers, Universal Outline. Magic ink solid paint marker and a blue. I got a Green Ranger hit off. Now I read with the hit offs that they might not be there. So we'll see if he gave me a hit off. That'll be another. Uh, I'll go towards the fucking grade I'm gonna give our primo. So if he gave me a hit off, that's a point. If not, that's a, a dock point. Um, so far, price. On our Primo, it's, uh, I don't really like buying stuff. I don't normally buy stuff. All my stuff is, uh, sponsored. So I get it free. But fucking, uh, so I don't really order shit online. My first, I'm, like I said, I'm getting out of my comfort zone to make, uh, more YouTube videos, more entertaining ones for you guys, not really for me. So, uh, I'm gonna start blowing some, a couple bucks just to, uh, make these orders and, uh, create content so i don't try not to leak my address or nothing like that so in total i'm not even gonna show you guys the price but in total i paid under a hundred dollars for this stuff which i mean to me that uh, i guess it's a good deal but like i said i don't normally pay for shit so it's a lot to me but compared to other you know if you want to compare the prices to other websites it's not too bad it's pretty good and I uh, also got it during Chrome Week, so I got the Uni, which I wanted to get the first one. The first one was lit. It had like fucking mops and Garvey, so I had to buy my own Garvey. See what all the hype's about. Which I've used uh, Garvey before, but not Steve Garvey Inc. 2.0. I don't know if that's any different, but I used Garvey uh, from like earlier in the days when I started writing. I kind of knew about Garvey. But uh, let's get this cracking. Oh yeah, and obviously it doesn't come like this. I just put these stickers to cover my information. So shout out to uh, Search STP Crew. I don't know that I think that's RIP Search. Respect. My handy dandy knife. It's always with me, as you can tell. It's all that paint. All right, let's get cracking. It's kind of hard because I gotta use one hand. Um, my last few videos have been done with my iPhone. I've been having trouble with my GoPro. I've been wanting to make uh, these kind of videos with my GoPro just because it gives you a better uh, um, first person view. And I got two hands with the iPhone. I obviously got hold it. But, um, yeah, I'm having trouble with my fucking GoPro. Hopefully, I can get that fixed. I'll just enjoy these um, iPhone videos. Alright, I'm gonna cut the video a little bit. I'm gonna cut this because I can't. I don't wanna cut myself. Low key cut myself earlier. Alright, as you can tell, it's still not open. So you guys didn't miss a damn thing. Alright, this is gonna be my first impressions, a rating and just what I think about our Primo and what you guys um, came to see, an unboxing video. All right, cool. So there it is. That's another point right there. Got the GR hit offs as promised, but I already see one huge fucking mistake that's gonna piss me off right about now. So as you can see off the bat, Garvey, like RV 2.0, oh, didn't make it. And I will check that out last because uh, my clothes are obviously going to get dirty with that. Alright, first, let's 
start off with. Right, you guys weren't supposed to see that. Neither was I. Um, soul tip. Um, soul tip. That is a lot. So I've honestly a lot of these products I don't. I never use. I've never seen them in person because I don't order. Shit. All my stuff that I use, it's all free. My mops, I use a uh, homemade mops, or I use like local made mops. I don't really buy these. So like, this is a lot fucking smaller than I thought. Like it's fucking tiny, but it's cool because it's cutty. You can hide it. You can toss it if you need to toss it for whatever reason. It's it's, it's small. I don't know how long it's gonna last. So if you want a comparison, there's a hardcore can. It's how small it is to a hardcore can. But yeah, soul tip. I believe it's like uh, I don't know what kind. Of, uh, honestly, I'm not too familiar with any of these products. So I don't know what kind of paint it is. I don't know if it's mohair or uh, kind of soul tip paint. Squeeze marker. It's a neon green. Probably on the next video, I'll actually test them out. See how all that works. Next, soul tip paint. Um. Stainless. I think it's ink. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with any of these products. Just wanted to get them. Just got random shit. There they are. Small as. Um. Soul tip markers. Mops. Markers, mops, same shit. Alright, man. Next. I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna whatever I feel. All right, cool. These are probably my favorite, if not one of my favorite uh, skinny tips. Actually, one of my favorite caps overall. The universal, um, the universal caps. I don't know what people call them bananas. I call them universal. Some people call them. I don't know, I don't know but little ten pack. It ran about. Um, how much was the price at? Just ran about like two bucks, I think. Something like that. A little 10 pack. Next. Alright, these I'm actually pretty uh, stoked to use the uh, Resto. I don't know they're fat or skinny, but you don't need an adapter for these for Restos. You just slap them on the Resto on me right now. I know what I do, I do. So, yeah, normally with the Resto. Since obviously we all know this, right? It has a fucking stem. Usually you need an adapter and then you put the nib or the cap, whatever you guys call them. So it's easy to just fucking get on the field. Just snap them right in. Damn. Hell yeah. But on to the next. Look. I think that's a 10 pack, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. 10 pack. So far, I've got ten pack, universal ten pack, resto fats or skinnies. I'm about to go and two, <coughs> oh, <fuck. coughs> two salt <two>. tips. <coughs> Next, oh shit, got that Garvey on it. Magic ink, magic ink solid paint marker in blue. Take out the plastic. No, we're not. So. Next, we got the Sakura solid markers. God damn it, bro. This shit got everywhere, yo. Come on. I paid like $16 for that bottle of Garvey, so I'm going to be pissed if uh, like half of it is off. But yeah, Sakura solid markers. We all know these, right? I think we're all familiar with these. This is probably the only thing I bought from RPO, I don't really know what it is because you know, everybody knows what a Sakura is. You get a better, uh, bam. Okay. They normally come, oh there it is, I was about to say, they normally come with that fucking little shield, but it's in there. Careful, careful. Next. Art Primo solid marker in 
red. I like the design of it, it's cool. It's like very flashy. You know what I mean? Like this one's just like, which I do like simple stuff like that, but I, I don't know, this, it looks a little different. I, I'm, like I said, I've never bought this kind of stuff, so this shit's kind of amusing to me. It's a little orange, but we'll see when I try it. Our Primo solid marker in red. Alright, get into a good god. Anyways, got the spring fever drip mop. And uh purple. I think it'll blue one. Actually, I guess it's supposed to be purple. That's weird as fuck, because I just it says key lime. Key lime and purple. That's weird. Well I guess I got a blue one. Unless that's purple, but that's fucking blue to me. My gloves are blue. It's about the same color. Let's see if the nibs off something juiced up. It looks like it was kind of that little poke right there made that shoot out or something. Oh, God. oh, here's a purple one. Spring Fever Drip Mop in purple. So did they give me a free one or what the fuck? Because I ain't ordered uh, three of them. But purple spring fever drip mop. I got our primo. Okay, next. It's so hard to do all this shit with one hand, so bear with me. Next up is this. This is our primo toxic shocker. So this is a, I thought it was a mop, but last minute I saw a video where it's not a mop, and it's really not, it's a hard body marker. It's empty, I guess I bought it empty, I thought it was full, but whatever. Toxic Shocker, or Primo marker. It looks like a mop, but it is not squeezable at all, but I'm guessing it's a mop, because I'm pretty sure you put some either thin ass paint or some ink, and it'll give you some nice drips, but that's cool. It wasn't too much, it only costed about, she costed me about, shit, it was two dollars, two dollars for an empty toxic shocker mop slash marker by Art Primo, which that's not bad, two dollars, right, next up, key lime, uh, spring fever drip. What the fuck is going on? They gave me a free one, right? Because you know why I paid for three of them. I guess they gave me a free one. Yeah, because this is the key lime I ordered, and this is the purple one I ordered. And that blue one, I don't know what's going on with this one. They probably just threw it in there because they saw it kind of crack open a little bit. But cool. So I got three spring fever drip mops. Next up. Empty Metalhead Mop Marker by Art Primo. Now this one, um, I actually enjoy using these for ground tags, for uh, even on walls. I don't know how this one is going to do, because the ones I've used before, uh, they don't look like this, but yeah, these are for tough surfaces. If you want to write on stones for whatever reason, bricks, the cement. This is your guy right here. Next, we got... Oh shit, okay, this is the Chrome Week. A uh, Black Friday deal that they had going on. So this comes with a little sticker pack of the Art Primo blank slaps. Something eggshell, or something similar. Oh, well, it comes with uh, everybody's favorite 
So you don't know what the hell you're getting, but I've heard you could get uh, markers that are not even for sale anymore. You could get new stuff, whatever. Um, this shit was a little expensive, but I just took my chances for the video. Mystery pet right here costed twenty dollars. It's a huge risk, which I'll never do it again. But I just did it for the sake of this video, and we'll see if it's worth it. Okay, so they gave me. Our Primo Hobo Marker, which is a, a solidified paint marker. These are actually pretty cool. I don't know about that paint, but um, this sketch, it's called Sketchy Twin Marker. So it has a sharp side up top, chill tip, bullet point up top, chill tip in the bottom. They gave me a one for all, one for all paint marker. I got another. Uh, Sketchy marker, and I got another uni broad in blue. Alright, so the total price for this, yeah, it would be past the twenty dollars I paid for it, but I'm gonna keep it a stack. All my videos are gonna be straight up. They're not gonna be biased. They're not gonna be uh, rigged. They're not gonna be a, uh, you know what I mean? I'm gonna give my honest opinions about everything in my videos because. Well, I keep I keep it a stack, you know. What I mean, I, I'm the way I am in my videos is the way I'm in real life. So I'm be honest with you, is this worth twenty dollars? Retail price, yes. In my books, no. Because I, I believe in you know if you go to an art store where they got these, these are expensive. But like, do you, would you really pay for that? Or? The only thing I see that's worth it here is this bad boy right here, the small school one for all. And then this unit bar. But this, these two and the solidified holder marker. No. So am I happy with the mystery blind box pack? I'm not. I, I, Twenty dollars for this. Not worth it. Like I said, I won't do that again. I just did it for the sake of this video. Right. Let me take everything out, and I'll be back. All right, y'all. Here's everything. Outside their bag, except the caps and the stickers, but I mean, you know what it is. So I got all this. from artprimo.com and I paid about a little over 70, 80 dollars I think do I think that's a lot? well plus the garden I got that spilled everywhere now do you guys want my honest opinions about all this? here it is let's start off with the goods let's start off with the pros all right so the pros is that our primo has a huge selection of supplies when it comes to markers mops they got caps they got every they got the whole nine they got spray paint for days they got everything um so that's good they, they have a lot of fucking, you know, graffiti supplies makes it a lot easier you can just order a pack straight to your door you don't got a rack you don't got to you know get ripped, ripped off at shops because some shops they'd be like taxing caps and shit or they don't have the caps you want so that's what I think when it comes to uh, one pro another pro <laughs> they hooked it up with a free mop I don't know if it was because it was damaged or whatever but you know whatever and uh I am now con right away first thing I saw was uh, I don't know, I don't know if it was a Primo's fault or the guys that shipped it to me, but 
yeah, this is uh, pretty unacceptable in my opinion. Yeah, I know shit happens, but it's like, while well, we're paying top dollar for these things. Like I said, I'm not saying it's our primo's fault. It can be uh, whoever delivered it, but come on, this is unacceptable. Oh my fucking, you know, I mean, I paid about 18 dollars of taxes i expected to be full you know what i mean like, i want to use it all so that's a con but like i said it's not our parents fault i don't know whose fault it is i don't point fingers out you know that's a trade of a rat but someone's responsible for that i don't know who it is but you know that, that that's a, that's a con uh back to the pro it's hard to think of pros and cons because I don't want to disrespect Art Primo at all because I know they've been rocking with you know, graffiti writers for so long. But I'm, I want to be honest and, you know, give my, what I think about it, my honest opinion. All right, we're going back to pros. Their biggest um, pro, the best thing they got besides their supplies is, got to give it up to GR, man, that guy. He uh, puts everybody on with knowledge. He puts everyone on with, uh, you know, formulas and whatnot. And uh, uh, that dude, uh, he's a solid man. I never met the dude in person. I would like to one day, but that's a pro for our primo. Their uh, spokesman, owner, CEO. I'm not sure what he is to our primo, but I know he's uh, he is our primo. In my opinion. Um, this garbage though, man, that's kind of pissing me off. Open, but I don't want to spin my fucking desk. Alright, anyway, right, I'm not going to say too much pros and cons about any brand, any company, nothing, because I don't want to disrespect anybody. We're all in this uh, graph scene together. You know, these guys are holding out for us. But I'm going to have to give it a rate, in my honest opinion. So, my honest opinion about our primo. It's actually a great um, online store if you guys want to um, get graffiti supplies. Because, I mean, I guess the price isn't too bad if you're already paying for, you know, mops and spray paint and whatnot. Because they've got all kinds of stuff. You guys, you know, I'm sure you guys heard of them and you guys know them. But if you guys don't, I mean, they got everything. They got Acme, they got Motol, they got Montana Black, they got Pax, they got everything. So, y'all go ahead and... And then they're, okay, so more pros real quick. I know I said I wasn't going to give too much, but I'll do pros because I'll say positive stuff. I won't say negative, too much negative. Pros is that their shipping turnaround time is very good. I ordered this about four days ago, I think, five days ago. Maybe less. I don't even know. It wasn't too long, though. I got it pretty fast, and it was free shipping over, uh, like, $70, I think, this costed uh cost it roughly eighty dollars plus a little pricey from my um you know my budget and my rating for our primo dot com I'm gonna have to give it about an eight and I know this is a lot of people's favorite uh graffiti supply store but this like I said, it might not be our primo's fault, but you know, it is what it is. That docked it did about half a point just because I, it's not really their fault. I don't know that. But so I docked it half a point because of that. And um I don't know, I think the price just to me it to me, to me, to me. It's a little high to me. It might not be that high, but to me it's it's a little pricey. So I, yeah, I'm gonna dock it of that and besides that i mean i had a fun time ordering it's fun ordering shit but when you gotta pay for it and everything that's when you know you get a check out that's when you kind of start canceling your order but you know so it's fun because there's so much stuff to choose from just look at that they got you know spray paint they got mops they got inks they got accessories sketchbooks collectibles they got everything so it's fun just to browse through you know create your cart so you know i had a good time Making an order it was exciting because I don't really make orders too much. I did make a lot of orders 
during Black Friday just because I want to make these videos for you guys to enjoy you guys, whenever you guys are bored. But, hell yeah, thank you guys for rocking with me. I know um, I haven't been uploading like I used to. I know my videos, uh, views are going down. My understanding is because now they make you, you know, ask, they ask you if, you know, your videos are for kids or adults. Obviously, I put adults because it's graffiti. But I think this one could be for the younger audience just because it's just an unboxing video. You know, maybe they want to buy these markers, these mobs, with their parents' permission, obviously. And they want to, you know, write on their books, whatever. It's a lot cheaper. This is, the, that's the thing. Uh, Primo, another good thing. That's why I'm saying the price probably isn't too bad. It's a lot cheaper than it is at a store if you can find this kind of stuff at stores like i know these are expensive these are very expensive at stores even these sketch markers are expensive at stores so i mean the, that's why i said the price isn't too bad but like maybe nine i'll give it a nine out of ten because it's not perfect so i can't give it a ten out of ten but yeah rprimo.com check them out um I might even, when I start getting more of followers, more subscribers, whatever, I'll probably start doing giveaways because all this stuff I don't really use. I'm buying it to do these unboxing videos for you guys. I might just keep this bad boy, that's about it. But all this might be up uh, for uh, even just gifts for my OG followers and subscribers. I say followers because I'm talking about Instagram too. But uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, I'm gonna do giveaways, I'm gonna do gifts, whatever. With all these, I'll probably be giving that one away. But even with my future packages, because I'm gonna be doing a lot of orders just to make these kind of videos, because right now I can't really make painting videos, I can't make action videos, not too much for personal reasons. So I'm gonna be making these, you know, at home fun videos with my GoPro once I get that popping. All right, so there it is my first unboxing video and it comes from artprimo.com shout out GR Green Ranger and all the staff at Art Primo. I don't want to sound too harsh I hope I didn't sound too harsh on my uh, reviews and stuff because I'm just being honest I'm a real honest ass dude it wasn't too, I mean 9 out of 10 8 and a half out of 10 not bad at all I'm going to be doing reviews on local brands, um, local companies, anybody that wants to get reviewed, or even if I've been wanting to check their stuff out, uh, do you guys have any, you know, mops, markers you guys want me to review, check out, um, you guys can go ahead and ship them to me, I'll give you my fucking address, my PO number, whatever you guys, I could maybe pay for them if you guys don't want to sponsor it and just shoot it for free i'll pay for them if it's not too much because like i said i don't pay for shit but hell yeah man hit me up tap in hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe like